Okay, so I have three short um, sections still to cover. So first, a bit about the Easy Build community. Um, I'll zip to, through this quite quickly. There's no hands on here. So it's mostly high level information about the Easy Build community. Um, it gives a bit of history here, which is a nice write up about how the project started. So it started in Ghent. Uh, we released it publicly, and from then on, we got a lot more reaction to it than we initially expected. So, uh, and the community grew around the project, so which surprised us a bit, but I guess um, we should be happy with that. And it has certainly um, widened our network in the HPC community quite a bit. Today, EasyBuild is used. Um, basically all around the world. Um, so the map shows the visitors we get to the easy build documentation in the last year. So the, all the circles are cities. So you, you get a good idea that it's, it's used in the major HPC sites around the world. We also organize an easy build user meeting every year. So we have been doing this since 2016. And we usually do it time-wise closely to the FOSDEM open source meeting in Brussels. Um, the user meeting has been organized throughout different locations in Europe. Last year we did it in Barcelona, or this year actually we did it in Barcelona. Let's see what happens next year, whether we will be able to do it physically or we'll have to move that to an online meeting as well. Um, this is an overview of some of the sites that use EasyBuild. Um, there's a long list here, and there's definitely way more um, sites and even companies um, who use EasyBuild for their software scientific, scientific software installation purposes. Um, as I already mentioned, the development of EasyBuild is done through uh, the EasyBuilders GitHub organization and throughout the, a, a couple of different uh, repositories, framework, EasyBlocks, EasyConflicts are not developed separately, but are located in separate repositories, which makes the, which makes the development a little bit easier. We have an, an easy build repository where the documentation is housed, and we have now also a separate repository for this tutorial. So if you if you want to give an easy build tutorial yourself, you can basically reuse this um, this repository and change it the way you see fit, or maybe contribute back additional parts to it, or fixes or changes. That's certainly welcome. Um, we have a, a team of EasyBuild maintainers today, which is about, I think, 15 or 16 different people from a variety of sites around the world, uh, in Belgium, in Canada, in Germany, the Netherlands, even down Singapore. Um, several people in Sweden are helping out actively, Switzerland, and uh, one or two people in the UK as well. So we're very thankful for, um, for these people to spend some of their time in helping out with maintaining EasyBuild and dealing with incoming contributions. 